first guest is one of the best pitchers in Major League ba history. <laughs> Last week, he led the Los Angeles Dodgers to their first World Series championship since 1988. Please welcome Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Ellen. This is awesome. Thanks for being had. Thanks so much. Uh, it's good to see you again. You were here once before. <laughs> um, congratulations. Has it sunk in yet? Is it, what's it feeling like today? No, I've been telling people everywhere just to keep saying, you know, World Series champs, just to see if it sinks in a little bit more. But man, it's just a great feeling. I love hearing it. It's so awesome. I mean, it's um. <laughs> Look, it's always fun to win, but you know, especially you you've lost before, you must have imagined what that would feel like to win. Is it is it the same? Is it better? How does it feel in comparison to what you imagined? Yeah, I think it's everything and more. You know, I don't really know what I expected, but just to to be able to say you're the last team standing and you finally won, like you said, we haven't won in 32 years. And so to be able to bring home a championship to the city of LA, um, after 32 years to get to be a part of that team, man, it's just uh, just is so happy, just so content, and uh, to get to celebrate with the guys. I mean, it's just the best. It's awesome. Well, listen. <laughs> We need it. 2020 needed this. So thank you very much for, for making something good happen in 2020. Oh, man, this is the best. And even, you know, the Lakers won, too. I was saying, whenever it's safe to do so, a Laker-Dodger parade in L.A., that would be awesome. We should yes. do that together. Yes. That would be great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Rams. Hopefully the Rams win. So we have a whole... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, and your, fr your friends, your family were there. I know the, how important your family is to you. That must have been incredible to have them there yeah you know after if you would have told me in april may that we were going to get to go to a world series and actually have fans in the stands and you know my my friends and family could actually watch the game in the stands i i wouldn't have believed you so to be able to do all that in front of them and um because they they sacrificed so much you know my wife was in the bubble with me for a month straight with three kiddos so she deserves a ton of credit for that too and she was just so happy and maybe to get out of the bubble too but also to win the world series it was awesome yeah, I bet that was nice for her, too. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think a lot of people can relate that you, you've been doing these Zoom calls and your kids are interrupting. And um, I think that's just part of uh, being at home and on a Zoom call. But that's happening a lot. Look, there's a little uh, pop up there. <laughs> yeah, there's Callie. <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, Charlie's back there, too. You know, they, they miss the field so much. And so I thought, hey, I'll try to do one interview and see if they can hold it together. And, they didn't, but it was fun though, nonetheless, and they had a great time. And yeah, but hopefully it distracted people from my answers, so they just looked at them. It was great. Well, it's going to be fun, too, to keep that and let them see that, like when you were doing this, this press conference for winning um, the World Series, at, and then they get to see themselves doing that. I think that's adorable. So, so there's been a lot of talk about your teammate who tested positive for COVID um, during the game. What was your reaction to that? I was in the bullpen, so I didn't know what was going on until after the game, obviously. But um, I think the main thing is we all just feel bad for JT. You know, he's been such a mainstay with the Dodgers, you know, for six, seven years. And um, he's worked so hard. He's been such a key member of our team to win the World Series. So terrible for him. Um, but hopefully he can take solace like the rest of us in the fact that uh, we won a World Series. And, they, you know, hopefully someday we'll get to all celebrate together soon. Yeah, you were auto-tuning during some of that uh, that answer. It was really cool. Um, so you've been you've been with the Dodgers your entire career. Do you see yourself being a Dodger forever? Man, I hope so. I hope so. I don't know what it holds, but I'll be there next year for sure. Ah, we hope so too. Hope so. We hope so too. Thank you so much for for being with us today, and uh, con congratulations again. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. We'll be right back.